welcome back to the Living Wild Kitchen. Today, after a wonderful day of fishing, we are going to actually prepare our speckled trout in our wonderful little recipe. Our recipe has a little twist. We're gonna be using wild raspberries and suro that we actually picked outside of our little cabin. All right, so to start this off, I have red onion. You're just gonna slice it up, nice thin slices. You're gonna just grab each slice and just kinda put it in your pan, just lay them out nicely, evenly, space it out. Moving on, we are actually gonna start stuffing our speckled trout. So my dad already gutted it from the inside and split them in half. So we're gonna start off with salt and pepper. Just gonna get a little pinch of salt, sprinkle it on the inside, pinch of pepper, sprinkle it on the inside. Okay, now we're going to put in some of our garlic plus seasoning and roasted pepper and garlic seasoning. So once again, just like the salt and pepper, you just wanna put in like a little pinch of it. Pinch of roasted garlic and a pinch of garlic plus. All right, now we're gonna put one leaf of basil inside the fish for flavor and aroma. We're also gonna put a couple of the uh, sorrel leaves for the same thing, flavor, aroma, except the sorrel is going to give us like that citrusy kick. Bit of that, and now for a little twist that I talked about before, we're going to put some raspberries inside. I've never actually tried this, so I'm actually kind of hoping for it to go well. Once it's done, our fish should look something like that, and just place it over nicely. Now I'm just gonna prepare the rest of these fish quickly, just like I prepared that one. And I'm gonna show you what to do with the rest of the ingredients. Okay, this is how our finished product looks like. You see the fish have been all stuffed. Uh, it actually complements everything really nice. The reds, the greens, it actually looks quite delicious. Since we got a nice flavor on the inside, you want the outside to have a nice flavor as well. So, roasted garlic and red pepper. You could be generous with your coatings. I'm gonna put a nice generous amount of this. Garlic plus, same thing, a nice generous amount. Use your own judgment of how much you wanna put on. It really doesn't matter. If you like garlic taste, then more the better. So I'm just gonna put, a, uh, not that much. A nice pinch of pepper, a pinch of salt. So now we're going to get our raw garlic and just sprinkle a, a good amount around. Now we have our red bell peppers, just sprinkle it around too. Uh, be generous with the bell peppers. These actually really, really accent the flavor of the fish. So sprinkle it around. We're gonna put in some greens. These are just normal green peas, same thing. A generous amount, really complements the fish nicely. Okay, I'm actually gonna put in some more raspberries too, just because I really like raspberries. A little bit of sorrel. Now we have some tomato paste. The green sorrel and the red raspberries, they complemented the trout so nicely. I, it just looked delicious on the dish. Now we have some tomato paste. We are going to just give a nice teaspoon of that. Just spread it around nicely. We're gonna, yeah, the, the tomato paste is used for flavor and it gives the, everything a nice color at the end. Okay, as soon as that's done, we have everything put together. We're gonna actually fill the fish up with water. So grab water, you wanna get the water so it's kind of leveled with like the fish. So just pour it on. Reasoning behind that is because you are going to put it in the oven. You don't want the fish to burn. You kind of want everything to boil together. So like all the flavors mix with the water and the fish absorb all the wonderful flavors you put in. So this is what it should look like, the finished product. Everything's nice and colorful. Last but not least, just to top it all off, I'm just gonna use a bit of soy sauce. So I'm gonna use one capful actually and just drizzle it over. So before you put it into the oven, you wanna put on a nice little 
casing of foil just so all the moisture gets held in while you're cooking it. You want to preset your oven to 250 degrees and your fish are, is going to cook in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. After 10 minutes go by, check up on your fish because they might be done. Because they are small fish, it ranges depending on how big of a size you've got. Okay, so as the fish is in the oven, we're actually going to prepare the sauce that goes with the fish. We have a cup and a half of raspberries left over and a cup of sour cream. We're going to put the raspberries in a separate little bowl here. We're going to mash them up so they're kind of in a watery type state and they'll be easier to mix with the sour cream. All right, now that that's done, we're actually gonna put in our sour cream into the bowl we just mashed it in. Uh, so now that we put everything together, you just kinda wanna stir everything up so it's nice and consistent. The sauce is done and we're just gonna wait to spread on top of the trout once it's done baking in the oven. My oh my, did the fish look so good. Since you were so enthusiastic, you could take the first one. Okay, I will. Today, my dad and Calvin were able to catch some fish, while I was able to create a meal everyone enjoyed. It's not important if you succeed at one thing or another, just as long as you could contribute. That's what teamwork's all about. I know it's good, but I didn't know it's that good. Speckled trout is one of the best fish I ever tried. If you want to check out any single one of our exotic recipes, just visit us on our website, livingwildtv.com.